Another problem which we have is the uh, uh, illegal mining. Which is unique to Ghana? That's unique to Ghana. Well, we are only hoping and praying Cote d'Ivoire will also not follow us in the same mm. route. Because there was a time they actually complained to us that we were polluting their uh, water bodies. bodies that yeah. the bodies and, that unfor that. Unfortunately, Galamse has also started in Cote d'Ivoire, but not at the same scale as we experience. And ours uh, is on a, a different level. So Galamse is also another problem. But how much of a problem is that if you look at the contributory factors that you've been outlining, um, for Galamse, how much is that contributing to our? I think, I think, I think in terms of ranking, that will be at number three. Okay. So that's significant. It is significant, yes. Yeah. Smuggling is another problem we face at, at the moment, but the major one is the El Nino. So that gives us a certain level of comfort, knowing very well that it will not have a repetition going into the next cocoa season, which is 24 25 cocoa season. Mm -hmm. That will not be there. Yes, of course, the swollen shoot problem is still there. Galamse will still be there. We're not too sure of smuggling because we don't know how the pricing will be. So when they smuggle, where are they taking it to? Well, I've seen the prosecution happening. Yeah, Somebody when they try to take it to Togo. Yeah, largely now, largely it goes to Togo. The other West African countries, but then the major route now is Togo. That's, do you have any going to the Ivory Coast? Well, we, there, there seem to be some uh, inf information suggesting that, but the major route at present is Togo. Okay, but I thought we have uniform pricing that you are... are we Indeed, when we announced our price, exactly, our, 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 price our price is actually better. When we announced the price between Ghana and Cordoba, our price was better. But with Togo, they do not have a system like we do, like it is in Cote d'Ivoire. We have a special case. In mm -hmm. Ghana, we give incentives to cocoa farmers. For example, we give them uh, research into the industry. We give them seedlings. We give them extension service. We give them input to support them. We give them fertilizers at a discounted rate, among other support services we provide to the farmers. When you go outside Ghana, this does not exist. So it's free for all there? It's free for all. In, Cordova, for ex in Togo, for example, there's nothing like cocoa board. So that individuals... Anybody with money enough to buy will buy. Do aggregate the beans yeah, and sell and them sell it. on the open market. And because we do uh, forward sales, they, they don't have any time to do forward sales. They don't have it to guarantee any farmer any price. So the, the moment you, the price at the world market is high, they come in, gather a, as much cocoa as possible, and they spot it and get the money out of it. Whereas in Ghana, you want to do a forward sale to be able to guarantee the farmers on price, in order to show them from the volatility of the market. They do not have that responsibility. So in times like this, that is where they will surface. Moments where the price is down, just like we experienced over the years, they do not show up. So they take advantage of the world market price. Ask how crazy it is today, which we are all talking but about. But my question to you...